For weeks now, the monsoon has raged without letting up, and our morale is at its lowest ebb. The rain stopped momentarily, only to be replaced by howling winds heralding even more rain. All that we have built, with the merciful exception of the treehouse, lies in ruin. Our enclosures have been breached, and most of the animals have fled. It's no use! We have to give up! Don't worry about the piglets! We'll come back for them later! They'll be all right! Let's go to the house and help the others! We have tried somehow to protect our crops, which have mostly been destroyed. And I fear the monsoon is taking its toll on our health and well-being, as well as our morale. Christina is more concerned, however, for the well-being of her beloved pet pig, Barnabas. <laughs> Barnabas! We've run out of food. You'd better keep quiet. Why don't you stop this now and take a rest? I brought you some food. I don't need anything! You should eat something. I'll have something later. See if Billy needs it. Where's Ernst? Where do you think he is? Is he on the lookout again? Lookout? He burned down half of this island to attract a ship. It's important to him. What's important is clearing up this mess. Shall I talk to him? <sighs> no, Elizabeth, I'll talk to him. Well, don't be hard on him, David. A boy his age needs a challenge. Elizabeth, look around you. Isn't this challenge enough for any man? You know what I mean. You don't help me, Billy. No one else will. Shush! Father says the winds will die down soon. Then there won't be any point in making it. I don't even know how to make a kite. It's easy. All you have to do is tie two sticks together and cover with cloth. Well, do it yourself, then. Ask Joanna. She's helping Mama. Ernst is busy, too. Besides, he's in a bad mood. Please say you'll help me. Yes, fish for dinner. Hmm. If the rain holds off, we should be able to light the beacon. I could have used some help this morning, son. Mending fences. Doesn't seem to be much point. What do you mean by that? When we were first marooned here, we prayed, didn't we? We sat together and we prayed to God, thanking him for our deliverance. Yes. Well, don't you sometimes wonder what he has in store now? Why did he save us? There has to be a reason. I think he wants us to escape from here. Listen to me, Ernst. Not a day goes by that I don't pray to see a sail come over that horizon. Do you think I want my children to grow up here, cut off from the rest of the world? Then let's do something. Let's take the raft. Absolutely not. The whole idea is preposterous. We're doing everything we can. We have the beacon. We have each other. And that's all we have. Except our prayers, of course. I brought you some dinner. See? Barnabas? It doesn't pay to film attachments with the pigs. You might get indigestion when you eat them. Please don't tell. We can't eat Barnabas. He's just a baby. Haven't you heard of suckling pig? It's quite a delicacy in your country, I believe. Of course, in China, we prefer them boiled and... Stop it! He'll hear you. Please don't tell. If you keep it a secret, I'll... You'll what? I'll let you fly my kite. What kite? I'll let you make me one. Christina! Your mother's calling you. Please. Maybe. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Let me see. I mean... I was just about to, and you called. Well, off you go and wash them now, please. 
Thank you. Where's Billy's fish? What do you want to do with your life, Billy? Do with it? Mm, what do you want to be? I'm Billy Cobb. What else could I be? Someday I'm going to tell the world the, the story of this island. I'm going to write a book about our shipwreck, our adventures, and our escape. You could help me. We could set up a printing press in Boston, perhaps. No. Why not? I'm no scholar. But you could be. When we get back to civilization, you can be whatever you want. Thank you, Master Ernst. But when the rescue ship comes, I'll stay here. Stay? Billy, your days of slavery are over. You're free. Yes, but if I go back... You'll be safe with us. I'm not like you, Ernst. They make me a slave again. It's only here on the island that I'm free. All my thoughts of Boston now seem irrelevant when I consider what actually lay ahead, and which Bruno was the first to sense. What is it, Bruno? What? There's no one there. Just imagining things. <laughs> well, someone took it. How long did you leave it there? No more than a minute. All I did was turn my back, and it was gone. Christina? What? If this is one of your pranks... I didn't take it, honestly. What about Billy? Well, the last I saw of Billy, he was going to stand watch with Ernst. Joanna? I was down by the river, looking for berries. Unless... What? Some... Animal might have taken it. No, I'd have seen it. I'm sure. Oh, something must have taken the fish. Something or someone. Well, who's going to tell Billy it's coconuts for supper? What you got? It's a fever, if I'm not mistaken. What's that? It's a fish. I can see it's a fish. I want weapons, powder, and shot. I did my best. That's all I can find. Well, that'll have to do then, won't it? Still awake? The house is moving. It's just the wind rocking you to sleep. Good night, Mama. Good night, dear. Hunt in two parties. Ernst, you and Billy go together. Joanna will come with me. I suggest you stick to the paths you already know, and whatever happens, don't get separated from one another. And Emily? Emily will do whatever she chooses, as usual. <laughs> Joanna, what do you say to a good sporting wager? Whoever brings home the least amount of food cooks for the others. Agreed? Agreed. 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 Good. May the best hunters win. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's hardly a reward for keeping quiet, is it? I think you must like Barnabas. No, I don't. There. That should be strong enough. Where did you learn to do that? From my father. 
Everyone makes kites in China. Some shaped like boxes, others with dragon faces and great long tails. Can we paint a face on this one? If you like. Thanks for not telling on me. It's none of my business what you get up to. Although, I must say, I felt sorry for poor Billy when I heard his fish had disappeared. I didn't take the fish! Well, who took it then? It wasn't me. Unless, of course, it was a ghost. This island is crawling with them. Ghosts? Oh, yes. Every kind of spirit. You must have heard them. I hear them all the time. I talk to them. Where do the spirits live? In the trees, in the rocks. Depends what kind of spirit they are. Are they friendly? Mm, most of them. But I expect there are some evil ones too. Really? <laughs> Billy, why don't we rest here a while? We aren't exactly having any luck. Ernst, when I said I wanted to stay on the island, I didn't mean you had to. Yeah, I know. A ship will come. You can have your printing press. Perhaps. Your father's a great man. If anyone can find their way off this island, he can. You know the secret to survival in this world, Billy? It's knowing when to take a risk. It's something my father has forgotten, if he ever knew it. No bad, hey, Billy? Even if I do say so myself. Come on. Look at this. Wow, look at the size of this poor cat. Just one shot. Can I have my arrow back? Emily, what are you doing here? Hunting. May I? Uh, this is my arrow. Ernst, look. For a king. Billy, this is one wager I was happy to lose. Tell me, who brought down the beast, you or Ernst? It was a joint effort, sir. Well, you must tell me all about it. Every detail. I want you to spare nothing. After which, Joanna will recount our experiences. <sighs> that won't take long. One lame rabbit, and even that eluded us. <laughs> oh, come on. This is more like a wake. What happened to all of you out there? Oh, David, leave them alone. They're tired and hungry. Just let them eat. Oh, my dear, that was splendid. Now then, who's going to entertain us with a story? Emmy says the island is haunted. Haunted? Ah, there's a thing. By evil spirits. They stole Billy's fish. A spirit. But she's not evil. She's a lady of noble birth. Very finely dressed. She walks along the beach at night. Well, what is she doing on this island? She was to be married. He was the captain of the ship. They were to marry once they reached their destination. But the ship foundered, and they were both drowned. Now the white lady walks the shoreline, pining for a dead parted. But why does she steal from us? Wedding gifts. But why doesn't she talk to us? She'd like to, Christina, more than anything. But of course, there's one great problem with that. You see, she has no head! <laughs> <laughs> now that's enough. That is enough, or nobody will sleep tonight. <laughs> Come, let's have another one. Ernst, you're a writer. There's lots about Raven Jones. Who's Raven Jones? He's not real. He's a legend. Raven Jones was an adventurer. He was once an officer, a, a Navy man. But he, he led a mutiny. They called him Raven because of a tattoo he wore. A symbol of his free spirit. 
It was said that no jail could hold him. And he had his chance to prove it. That's right. He was captured. High treason. They held him in the tower, awaiting execution. But Raven taunted his jailers, saying they wouldn't kill him. That he'd escape from the axe, rise into the air like a bird. Like a raven. Soon everybody heard about his claim. People came from all over the land to see this miracle occur, convinced that a man would fly. Even the king got caught up in the excitement. He had a golden cage erected around the executioner's block. It was even rumored that Raven Jones himself had helped to design it. So at the appointed hour, with thousands watching, the guards were dispatched to the deepest dungeon in the tower. Well, what happened? Did he fly? When they flung back the doors to his cell, he was nowhere to be seen. He had fought them all and disappeared into thin air. Without tales of spirits and ghosts, it is surprising that anyone was able to sleep that night. My sister Joanna was woken when Bruno heard something. <laughs> But rather than a spirit or ghost, it was Parson's reluctant accomplice, Ben. No! quite well now. Have you decided you like each other? Why do you say that? Well, making kites together, whispering in corners. You should mind your own business. Oh, right. Just tell me one thing. Who is Barnabas? I'm telling you the truth, Parsons. They have nothing to steal. Monsoon's done for them as it has for us. Maybe so. Won't stop us having a little bit of sport with him, will I? What's the matter? Ain't got the stomach for it? Maybe you've forgotten what we're doing here. We swore revenge, didn't we? I ain't forgotten. Poor old Seth ain't neither. He may be gone. Don't mean he's at peace. Nor will he be till our work is done. Now get aboard. You're keeping a pig in the treehouse? Only at night. Oh, well, in that case. Don't tell Joanna. We're looking after him. Oh, Christina. Secrets on the island are a bad thing. You should tell Mama and Papa. They'll decide what's best. No! They'll decide to eat him! And it'll be all your fault! Christina! The kite! What in the devil's name? What is it? It's a sign, Ben. A sign from beyond. It's a spirit calling us on. No! David Robinson, the day your reckoning is upon you. Christina, are you all right? Yes, Mama. Well, be a good girl and go and see if the hens have laid, will you? Yes, Mama. Did the kite fly? Yes, Mama. <laughs> what have you got for me today? Two? Oh, thank you very much. What have you got in here, Henrietta? Just one? Is that all you can manage, Henrietta? <laughs> Christina. 
Cover it well. We don't want them Robinsons stealing it. They are collecting the eggs. Thanks for the old man. He was looking at me. He was, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> she imagined it. She saw something. Look at her. Nonsense. Christina, Christina, look at me. Now listen, darling, there's no shame in it. What you saw was real. It existed, but only in your mind's eye. And it's perfectly understandable after last night. You were unduly influenced by all this silly talk about the supernatural. Oh, so now it's my fault. It was just a shadow or a trick of the light. At midday? Emily, that's enough. If you can't think of something useful to say, then there are many chores to be getting on with. We share the island with the souls of the living and the dead. If you choose not to listen to their messages, they get angry. Don't you understand? They are warning us. What's the matter with you? Why don't you tell him? Tell me what? Uh, we heard something. Go on. On the hunt, it was uh, a sound like laughing or, or crying. The wind? No, it wasn't the wind. Where did it come from? All around, as if from the trees and the rocks. Trees and rocks do not laugh, nor do they cry. Whatever you heard, whatever Christina saw, it was not a ghost. That is my final word on the subject. Yes, dear. I don't mind living on the island anymore. I want to go home. <laughs> Christina wasn't the only one whose imagination was colored and distorted by the recent unexplained events. We were all tense and on edge until Joanna made a surprising announcement to Father. You've been very quiet, Joanna. What are you thinking? I don't know. Just worrying, I suppose. You didn't say a word during the meeting. What do you think about our ghost? Do you think he's real, our old man with a long white beard? I have no opinion. <laughs> That's not like you at all. I wish I knew what was happening. We used to be so close, the whole family. Now, something's changed. Is it me? Am I becoming a terrible ogre? It's not like that, Papa. Really. Well, what then? I saw something, too. It was no old man, though. No spirit, either. It was Ben. When was this? Last night. I surprised him, trying to get into the treehouse. I think it was him who saw the fish. You said nothing this morning. I know. He looked so hungry and miserable. I should have spoken up. I'm sorry. That explains our ghost. Ben? Parsons. If Ben is coming around here, Parsons won't be far behind. Pity we haven't got an axe. Well, we ain't. 